Okay, guys, we have a question here from Fraser about Facebook, this Facebook page description. And as we know here in the course, the Facebook page description is super important because it's, uh, it's a place where you can talk with your audience. Once you have new people going to your page, most people go to the description and they read about your business to see if you have what they are looking for. So as you know, in the course, we recommend that you write a description that that is compelling, that goes to your customer's heart and talk about their pain point. So you know your audience and you know the pain point they have. And in your description, your your job is to, to create a text, create a specific uh, description where you are talking about the pain points and you are telling your audience that you have the solution to fix that, right? That's the goal. So here we have the question from Fraser. He's saying, I, uh, great course. I love it so far. Excellent. Thank you. I have watched your video on description, but I am struggling to work out the best description for my page. My page is a business page for reflexology, massage and healing. That's great. So he asks, how can I structure my description the same way as you and attract new customers at the same time? And he's saying, I'm sure the, the same rules apply. Do I need to talk about all the therapies that I offer or just one of the therapies? That's a good question. And he's saying also, this is what I have done. And he shares the page and we will take a look on his page right now. This is his page. And Fraser, thank you very much for sharing this, for sending your question about talking about one therapy or, or all the therapies you offer. I will suggest that you test because, I mean, there is not a, a, a general answer for that. The best way is to test it. The, the audience is different for each business. So the, the business, the audience that you have that is interested in your business on reflexology, massage and healing, maybe they will be interested on in all the, the, the services you provide because probably who the, 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 the person that does reflexology, maybe this same client is also interested on massage, right? So if you talk about all your uh, therapies on your, on your description page, maybe it's a good option for you. I'm saying maybe because on my case, for example, for my audience it's better if I just talk about one specific subject. Okay, so I get the biggest pain point they have and I talk about that on the description. But I am seeing your page here and I think looks great. So congratulations on this. Your logo looks great. The only suggestion here will be you see that the E on emergence therapies, the E is a little bit uh, out of the of the frame. So maybe you can resize a little bit your logo to fit well here on the square. Also, that same for the S, the therapies, the last letter here, the last character is a little bit uh, out of the frame. Your Facebook cover image looks great. You have uh, three images about reflexology, massage and healing, the three services you are providing here. I immediately identify that without having knowledge on your business. So that's great. That's what we want. We have your email here, your phone number. Amazing. You have an, an 800 number. That's great. And you are also ha you also have the description here with your logo say saying reflexology message and healing excellent. So now we scroll down. We have your phone number. We have your location here. You have the call to action button. Let's see if I click on here. Okay, it's asked me to log in, so I can basically send you a message from this link. That's good. If you if that's what you want on the call to action, that's great. You can also configure this in other ways. If you watch the lecture where we talk about that, you will see all the options that you have. Let's see. Here we have your story. I, I already wrote this uh, and, and looks great. I think I honestly think that your description is amazing. It's great. It's optimized. You talk about all the, your your specific techniques, reflexology, massage. Um, you are talking here about you are also sharing your page, which I also recommend on the course here. You say, OK, like our page and visit our website and you include your website here and start finding out why other people are giving us five star. OK, you are also giving a small call to action at the end, which is great, in my opinion. Here we have the about you are saying find the best strategies that will help you relax 
keep you keep you calm, provide you with more information on reflexology and other holistic therapies. This is great because maybe that's the ba- the biggest pain point of your audience, and you are talking about that here. You are saying, hey. Find the best strategies that will help you to relax and keep you calm. Probably that's what your audience wants. They go to your store, they go to your clinic because they want to actually relax and keep them calm. Okay. If you are talking about that, if I am right, if that's the biggest pain point of your audience, you are doing a great job here. So I think this is great. Uh, I won't spend more time here on the specific description right now. I will jump ahead on the course and probably start um, start creating content for your audience. Start doing Facebook Live like this, for example. Start creating posts for your audience, start creating promotions for your audience, just start creating content on your channel, on your Facebook page. That's the most important thing right now, okay? Thank you so much for sending your question. Congratulations on your page, and I hope to see you later in the course.